Hello there, Entrats. Mogwai here, and I got another video for you beautiful mofos today. Today, we're going to play some good old Soul Tide Reanimator, aka the upgrade of our favorite deck in Core Set 2020, and that is Agent Bones. We go from Demir to Soul Tide, and yesterday I did go deep on a deck tech and uh, why I chose, you know, to add green to the strategy and all that. So today, we're not going to focus much on that. We're just going to take a good at this. No, a good look at this deck, English, and then we're going to appreciate the awesomeness of Agent Treachery. We're going to embrace the generosity. We're going to go ahead and hop onto the ranked ladder and play some best of three. In case you want to see a detailed, you know, deck tech intro and all that, you can check yesterday's video. I've done several videos on the Agent Bones uh, strategy, but basically, in case you're new watching this video, we aim to send Agent of Treachery to our graveyard and reanimate it early on with Blood for Bones. And the entire deck is kind of like built around that, and it is... God, it's such a blast to play. This hand is really interesting. Uh, I like it because double chart of course, Dust Legion Zealot. The only thing I don't like is the fact that I have a Tamayo and no green source of mana. But with so much card draw, we are bound to find that green land, you know. Not guaranteed, because in Magic there's no such thing, but we're... Eh, come on. We're, we're pretty likely to do that. Woody is our opponent, and apparently he... Uh, has recognized this or good game <laughs> is, is, is he trolling me are, are, are we getting trolled turn one of game one of this game okay this is simic flash no it's nexus all right uh i don't know what you're about woody but what the fuck bruh we're gonna go with the charter course here we're gonna discard agent of treachery call that a turn uh, this is Nexus. Nexus is actually a very scary matchup. Because our sideboard is geared towards Simic Flash, Mono Blue Tempo, but uh, as I stated in yesterday's deck tech... Oh my, oh my god, really? Yeah, Nexus with Narset is... Uh, it's pretty fucked. Like, we're, we're actually like... We're actually like really fucked. We have to play Dust Legion Zealot. Just to have a board presence. So we can finish off Narset potentially. Because we really need to do that. Because Narset like single handedly shuts us down. But yeah. Nexus with Narset. Is. You know. Considering the sideboard plan that we have. It's just. It's terrible. It's, it's such a. Such a rough matchup for us. All right, let's see what our opponent does here. We, we still have one turn before they play. Oh my god, dude. Let us have a story battle. Holy I fuck. You will find my notes helpful. Oh, oh, oh. I must train harder. The moon looks intriguing to me. To the library. Okay, so out of out of all these cards, what am I better off with? I, I, I would assume blood for bones. We actually want to connive concoct and then blood for bones. Let me aid your research. So it's pretty standard Nexus. We obviously got to steal Nisa first, and uh, I think I got to go for the Concoct first. Well, I, I should go with this first. What, what should I, I? I guess 
I guess just more blood for bones. Because I, I basically want to just start stealing all of his shit. I know I noted this somewhere. So We can't really go with uh, let's go with this. Does he have does he main deck negates too? Okay, I, I would be quite quite shocked. Um I don't dislike the idea of going for a tyrant score next turn though. Potentially on a land here. He could have a blink of an eye. The land fights for us. Okay, so he has an opt. Oh, violence is impolite. Seek and find. Jesus Christ. So the plan here. Well, if he has a Nexus, we're, we're pretty much done. Like, well, are we? Yeah, we're done. If, if, if one of these two cards is a Nexus of Fate, it's over. These two. Because double double reclamation with this Kanta, like the man can literally like go infinite from that point onwards. So, like I said, uh, Nexus. I, I explained this like yesterday in the Dekta video. It, it really sucks that we run into this like game one, <laughs> because th this matchup is is just really bad, really bad. Especially because he's also he's main decking Narset and all that. Like his variant is also like even tougher for us. Uh, we gotta go with the duresses and. Um, I would assume Ashiok as well can put in some work here. I can drop uh, this. I can drop... I mean, having one Massacre Girl, I guess, is, is fine, but not really. It's all about just stealing his stuff, basically, and, and cycling. I mean, I, I do like the Tamiyo, but I, th I think two of them is fine, considering I'm also playing Ashiok here. And uh, I, I need all the discard I can have. What else do we need here? I mean, I think even even Scholar is fine as a... Uh, hmm. I guess we can drop a Stitchers. Just go with this. Th this is a tough one. This is honestly a very tough one. Uh, it's the one matchup that we're not really prepared for. It's the first time I face Nexus, but I... I I, I said in yesterday's deck tech that th this can be really, really tough for us. And we're, we're lacking black mana here, which is a big issue. I, I love the rest of the hand, though. But I think I think we got to be aggressive with our mulligans. And uh, I'll, I'll take this one. I'll return a an agent of treachery. Which means, you know, we, that's one agent less that we have. But, you know, if we do things right, we should, we should be able to potentially cycle these with blood for bones. Like, the idea is to steal... The only way we're truly going to win this is if we manage to steal our opponent's enchant, like uh, reclamations, escantas, everything relevant, basically. I'm going to go for the Thotty Razor first. And I'm definitely taking down that escanta. That's pretty damn huge. Being able to shut this down is so important. Next turn, we'll go for the Charter Course. Because we want to, you know, en enhance our chances of being able to 
to curve out here. So we're going to chart a course, hopefully drawn to a land. Okay, nice. And hopefully we don't see like a bunch of lands being milled here because uh uh <laughs> oh my god no oh not like this oh stitches stitches oh stitches you're killing me oh stitches you're killing me here all right field of ruin I kind of welcomed that. I actually really do welcome that. Are you kidding me? I had even more lands? Oh my god. Please, give me a land here. Please, land, land, land. Ah, uh, I'm gonna risk it again. Oh my god, I sort of got stitches. If you do this again, stitches, stitches. Oh, stitches. Okay, good stitches. Se second stitches did not fuck it up. But uh, we're, we're one turn behind now. I mean, we do have a bit of a board presence, but it's not like we're gonna be aggroing our opponent very soon here. He, our opponent could just blast zone. If he wants to take out two suppliers here. Let us see if your talents are worth cataloging. Man, I need to land here so bad. I mean with with Zealot I have an extra chance to do to draw it. I think you will find my notes helpful. But uh we we could just be screwed here. Okay, no no reclamation at least. Okay, there we go. I would I would feel that much better if we found another land here. Okay, that's good. I guess you do not want to talk. All right, we got the bluff for bones, and uh, now it's it's all about going for you know reanimators, reanimation plays. We got two agents in our graveyard. To the library. And we're not super vulnerable to Blast Zone here. Okay, so our, unless our opponent has a main deck negate here, I'm gonna go for the Connive Concoct. But first of all, I'm going to see... Alright, there we go. He could have a Spell Pierce. Oh my god, if he has a Spell Pierce, that would really suck. You're making it difficult to work. Alright, good, good, good. This is how we're meant to win this this matchup. We need to steal. Obviously, blink of an eye is a problem. Like, it, it's problematic because we do have the ability to steal his permanence, but at the same time, he has so many. Like, we don't have enough like aggressive potential to put it. Uh, like, and that's what you need to do against Nexus, right? He's also playing Callous Dismissal on top of that. So we're definitely going to be stealing this. Nice. More data will be needed. All right, I really like this. These two. And we 
we'll just keep stealing his shit. And uh, try not to mill ourselves as well. Behold, nature's true power. The problem is if I with these agents of treacheries, I'm gonna be drawing a lot of cards here. Yeah, I need to think here. Two, four. That, that, that was a complicated turn. But I need to make sure that I don't mill myself as well. But with Age of the Treachery here, I can draw all these cards. And uh, I'm. <laughs> this is pretty sweet. Not gonna lie, this is pretty fucking sweet. But I gotta be careful with the milling. I always gotta target my agents. I always gotta target my agents here. I know I noted this somewhere. And I should not have, I should not have, uh... Got him. I, I made several mistakes. I should not have returned the other agent to my hand. I should have just returned the other thing because I, I, I still need to cycle with the Blood for Bones. I actually think we need Veil of Summer here now because he's playing Callous Dismissal and, um... Yeah, I think we definitely need Veil of Summer. Has he shown... I mean, Tyrant Scorn is pretty good, but I think we can drop one. I don't, I don't think Ashiok is the way to go. I think instead we run, like, triple Veil of Summer. I don't dislike the idea here. I don't know about four Veil of Summer, but I do want to run three Veil of Summer, so that way we can counter the uh, blink of an eye and such. That's that's basically how we win this game. That's how we win this matchup. We have to uh, steal his stuff. I'm I'm actually surprised I was able to take a game there. This hand is is slow, but we're on the draw. It's slow because of double check land, but we're still gonna keep because we could draw into a shock land and then we could get going. Like there, magic is easy. Like my boy Merchant would say, you know, <laughs> just to draw what you want. And uh, we're going to see if we can actually do this here. I think I I'm going to play Fadabadur here. It's instead of Charter Course, I want to establish some board presence. Okay, that dress is really good. That Veil of Summer is also really good. There we go. There's the Nexus, and more, more importantly, there's the Blink of an Eye. We got some very, very nice momentum there.
We managed to get a, an Agent of Treachery on the board here. This is really good. This is actually really good. I can use Tamiyo to recycle a Veil of Summer. One, two, three, four, five. He needs one more mana to be able to tap this, so let's steal the memorial to genius here. I don't mind about Veil of Summer here. So I, I can actually just play a Dust Legion Zealot. a little bit of extra board presence and uh, try to get oh my god if I if I could beat Nexus in a best of three that's crazy I would like to ask about any lunar anomalies you have experienced I think you will find my notes helpful oh my lord the, the, this this combo is just oh my fucking dick dude oh my god Okay, so one, one, two, three, four, five, six mana. Blood for Bones, this. And we still have, oh my god, this is just beautiful. Check this shit out. We're going to go for the minus three, and we're going to return Blood for Bones to our hand. I follow the tracks of the we bones. are going to go for the, oh, no, no, cancel, cancel. Fuck. I... I messed up my ordering. Ah, oh, I'm, I'm an idiot. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Oh my god, I, I, I fucking threw that away. I also should have attacked first. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm sorry for for anybody watching. I'm, I'm just, I'm really sorry. Huh. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say that was BM, but uh, yeah, that was really stupid. Uh, I, I fucked up. I forgot about uh, t I knew about Tamio's passive, but then I forgot about it for a second. And as soon as, soon as I went for it, I was like, cancel, cancel, but I couldn't. <laughs> Pro plays. Uh, six. Six mana, interesting. Library. I'm gonna attempt to go for the Thought Erasure. As we get another Duress in there, I'm going to attack. I'm going to continue to use Charter Courses because I, I really want to uh, fish. Discard this and this. Well, I can technically Nexus now.
Unfortunately, he has the memorial to genius. I protect that which cannot protect itself. Rise, my elemental friend. I'm gonna block here. And I just gotta hope this man doesn't top deck a Nexus. Because he can tap these two. It comes down to this. It comes down to what he draws with Immortal to Genius. If he draws a Nexus, it, 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 this could very well be over. Because with Nisa on the board, it, it would be incredibly lucky of him. But I, I, I have seen, I have seen stuff like this before. Okay, so it's got four. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. All right. Um. Well, we certainly, like, without a doubt, what we're going to do, first of all, is we're going to use Tamiyo. I have learned much from my ancestors. Okay, there we go. Nice. That's the first thing we're going to do. Second of all, we need to, uh... We need to hard cast this. We need to steal Nisa. And uh, then double up on the Agent of Treachery and steal that as well. So the way we're going to do this is we have to tap you, 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 and you. We're gonna sacrifice you, agent, steal your girl. We're gonna get Fedopter in there as well. Then what we're gonna do Sacrifice. I'll bring you back. Bring you back. Get this in. And just draw all the cards in the world. <laughs> yeah, I like this actually. What you got for me, baby? Holy fuck. Something I something I did not account for. This is crazy. Like I I legitimately like in yesterday's deck tech I said our odds against Nexus are very low. But something that I very much underestimated is the power of Tamiyo recycling duresses. And Agent of Treachery turns out to be very like honestly a bit stronger versus this archetype than I thought. Obviously we're still vulnerable to them going off, right? Okay. That's fine. That just literally buys him a turn. He has no prior setup. If he had a Wilderness Reclamation, I would be concerned, but... Who needs answers for enchantments? Ancient of Treachery is the motherfucking answer. Alright, he's, he's full desperation, full top deck, he's full Yu-Gi-Oh mode. I repeat, he's full 
Yu-Gi-Oh mode. And we got lethal on board, baby. It's over. It's over. You can try to uh, blast zone, but you don't kill anything in my board. I got Tyrant Scorn here. We got him, boys. 36 minutes. <laughs> but we fucking got him. Oh, my God. 36 minutes of a series. Holy shit. I, I beat Nexus. I beat Nexus with this. This is the first time I faced Nexus. That is so that is so crazy. I, I derped. I, I know I derped. Like I, I'm I'm upset at how like I went with that turn, but I mean it, it was a slip up, you know. Like it, it, it happens. Even to the almighty fake Brazilian card boy. <laughs> uh, three seven three five seven. I actually need Fadabater here. I mean, what what am I even thinking about? <laughs> <laughs> I have a tired score. Head go boom in three, two. A little bit of a uh, off timing there, but still clean, clean. Not not clean, but you know, wed, wed over Nexus of Fate with oh my god, with Soul Tyrian. That this you have no idea how happy this makes me. Because a lot of times, like, you, you go over the matchups in, you know, theoretically, right? But uh, I, I've never ran into that deck, and I was really concerned about my sideboard. Well, not really, but I, I was somewhat concerned about my sideboard because of the fact that I, on paper, it, it didn't seem like I was giving Nexus any sort of respect, right? But if I took out some stuff to try to have a better matchup against Nexus, I weakened my matchup against Simic Flash, which is the scariest matchup for us, right? This is the guy who, like, good game me turn one <laughs> that that feels extra good then but veil of summer still really good in nexus especially because it can uh, stop counter spells that they are going to bring against you and also it stops blink of an eye and callous dismissal from uh you know countering our theft plays and man duress duress and tamio like recycling our duresses with tamio that that's just absolutely huge this is really cool because Tamiyo did not really shine in yesterday's stream because we faced a huge amount of cre uh, creature-based decks, right? So I sideboarded her out a lot. But in a matchup like this, she truly shined. And I'm, I'm just very happy. I'm, I'm loving this deck and uh, you're going to see more of this in the future. Tomorrow I'll come, I'll be back at it with something different. Uh, but uh, I'll definitely be venturing into Soul Tide Reanimated for quite a, a bit this season. I just I love this archetype. It just never gets old for me. And I just hope you guys feel the same in regards to the videos. And that's all I'm going to say. Because I think uh, if I get into another best of three series, this video could end up being too long. And I'll, I'm happy with like a, you know, a Soul Tide Reanimator versus Nexus sort of video. I'm happy with that. So yeah, have a whole day, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I fucking love you. I'll see you tomorrow.